Adaptin is, uh, is basically a, a computational tool that's in the so-called cloud that uh, allows farmers to generate better recommendations for nitrogen rates based on information uh, related to weather especially as well as uh, soils and the crop management and they can uh, monitor the nitrogen status of their field throughout a growing season and at the time when they need to make a decision on how much nitrogen to apply they can use the tool and uh, develop uh, an optimum nitrogen rate recommendation for their corn crop. I'm a corn and soybean farmer in southern Kua County. I raise uh, about a thousand acres of corn and about 400 acres of soybeans every year, depending on the rotation of the fields. Well, I guess the cost saving to us is probably the biggest benefit. Uh, and of course, you can, the operation goes faster because you're you can go farther before you have to refill the tank on the applicator and that's another benefit of sorts. Uh, but the big benefit is, a, is the price of uh, using less nitrogen, I should say. Corn is the focus of Adapten uh, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, it is the crop that receives most of the nitrogen, uh, not only because we have a lot of acres of corn in the United States, but also because uh, we apply a lot of nitrogen onto the corn. Uh, in addition, corn is the crop where that is most sensitive to weather when it comes to determining the optimum nitrogen rate. And that has to do with uh, the fact that corn is uh, basically a, a tropical crop that we grow in temperate regions. And there's, so there's a, uh, a significant period in the early part of the growing season when the corn crop is still relatively small, when it's very sensitive to nitrogen losses if we say get uh, a two inch or a three inch rainfall event. Before ADAPTEN was developed there is a formula that was developed 25 or 30 years ago by faculty here in, in this department or section that was based on work that they had done at our research farms um, for um, providing nitrogen recommendations. And it was a, a very simple formula that did not uh, explicitly account for the impacts of weather. So the real step forward that we did was to explicitly account for the impacts of weather in collaboration with the Northeast Regional Climate Center in developing this adapt and tool. The Northeast Regional Climate Center has been a partner with NOAA for almost 30 years. Uh, we operate under a contract with NOAA and our mission is to facilitate the dissemination of climate data and climate data products to users in a variety of sectors. And uh, one of the things that uh, we uh, knew we were gonna need very early on is uh, weather data at a fairly high uh, spatial resolution. Um, so it was our role to take uh, NOAA climate data and develop an interpolated daily product that could feed into the models that ADAPTN required. One criteria that ADAPTN really wanted to rely on was observed ground truth station data. So really the GHCN daily is, is you know, it's the go-to data set for daily data for the majority of stations across the country. We can grab data on, on a daily basis, maybe on the order of five, six, seven thousand stations report to us each day. In the archive, there's even more stations than that in, um, in the GHCN. So really, it gives us the station density that we need um, to, to run the interpolations that we need for the model. Um, the other thing was the frequency at which we can get the data. We have real-time feeds to that data, so we can get that data to start off with first thing in the morning when the farmers need that data and we need to input it into the adapt -End tool. But more importantly, as time went on, we could grab that data from the NCEI archive to make sure that the data were of the quality that um, the developers of adapt -End were uh, desired in their product. Today, ADAPTN is available in 28 states. That starts in the Northeast, goes west out to the Dakotas, through Nebraska, and then basically draws a line down into the Carolinas. 
Uh, we're looking to expand that to an additional eight states next season and hope to eventually expand internationally as well. Uh, today, the 28 states we cover represents about 95% of the corn acres in the U.S. So even though it's not most of the country geographically, um, we are covering most of the corn uh, that's grown in the U.S., uh, but we'll look to expand that uh, as much as we can.